Hello, this is Chaplain Toby Quirk and Linda. And until we can meet again at the soldier's home, we're going to bring you a message from the Bible. And this is Psalm 91, verses 1 and 2. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. So the lesson we take from these first couple of verses from Psalm 91 is a question. It's addressed to those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High. So do you dwell there in the shelter of the Most High? If you do, then God's promise here is that he will protect you against all harm. Verses 4, 5, and 6. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. So here we have in these uncertain days, is it a plague? Is it a pestilence? It's certainly something that is unknown and is threatening us. But look at the image that God gives us in this section of the 91st Psalm. A, a, a great bird who is God our Father. And it's storming and raining and windy and sleeting. And he tucks you right under his wing where that powerful feathers and the wing protects you and you have the warmth of his very breast. So he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High also is tucked there warm and loved under the wing of your Father God, free from the plague and the pestilence. Verses 11 and 12. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Wow. That God would command angels for you. Many people believe in angels, and it's certainly true throughout the whole scripture that there are angels that are hovering all around in the unseen realm. And because you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, God issues a platoon of angels to protect you from all harm, even that your foot wouldn't be struck against a stone. The angels of the Lord are protecting you. So I'm going to finish up with a blessing. And I want to thank you for listening and watching us at the Soldier's Home and it goes like this, may the Lord rescue you, protect you, and deliver you from all harm. And may he satisfy you with long life and show you his salvation. Amen, amen. and amen. This is Chaplain Toby Quirk and Linda signing off for now until next time. God bless you.